Okay, another really great thing here in standard mode is what we can do, and we, we want to do start uh, thickness testing where you want to do a grid pattern. We can see here that we've currently got um, set up. Let's move this menu function up to here on the left. Let's move this up to here. Confirm there. So, what format are we going to do it in? We can do it by datum numbers, row numbers, column numbers, point nuts. Let me show you here a three-dimensional pattern. And so here, under three-dimensional patterns, we can then say, well, if we're going to have two rows, um, uh, four columns across, um, this in this particular pattern, we can start with reading one, reading two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So every time we hit the save button here, it'll save that new reading in that location. With this option now, is we can also change the reading pattern. So there's about 12 options. Let's go through them now. You can see how this is almost a reverse. Three-dimensional pattern starts here. goes across like that. And then rather than starting at A again, it goes down to C and then works its way back. Pattern number six starts here on the right. Look, zigzags up, down, and we can work that out. Pattern number seven, pattern number eight, number nine, ten, eleven. Okay. The fourteenth pattern. Oh, there's a few extras. I didn't know about that. There they are. Unusual, unusual patterns, but nevertheless. So we've got our grid set up. It's going to be A, B, C columns, and, and we're going to have um, three readings, uh, three rows. I'm oh, sorry. So not total of nine readings. Let's go through. We'll take nine readings on here, and we'll remember that the the data is set up. So if we go into format, remember that our, we've picked a 2D pattern. So we'll go like this across, down, back again, and then for the third row, we'll go down and across like that. So what we'll do is we'll try and um, just show that. We'll do three readings at, at the on this section. We'll do two here. We'll do a f the, the sixth one there, and then three extra ones on on this material. With the final one, we'll actually change over there. So we'll get we'll see where those fifties are exactly what we say we're at. Let's go down to we'll go to this menu from data, and we'll now go across to measure. And then I'll show you. So, we've because we've set it up now. Essentially, we just need to work in this this position. So we've got our A scan there, our thickness reading there. We've got, it confirms it here that there's good coupling there. So we're ready to take our first three readings across in the column. So one, two. Oh, didn't like that. Three. We'll take two on this material. One, so this is measurement, so that's 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, and then on the last three, one there, measurement eight, and then so when we hit this again on the ninth one, it should actually also confirm data list is full, so we've filled out our grid map. Uh, save the file, we press this button, confirm, or we go, no, I don't want to save the file, I want to do it again, maybe there was an error. We'll save it, it's processing, it's finished it, that's the file number, there's the SD cards in the top. But let's just go back now to our data. There it is. So A, B, C, number four, number five, there on the perspex there, and then brilliant, three more readings there at the bottom. That's a basic grid map using this unit. Oh yeah, one more thing that I forgot to show is big, even though it's got all the numbers here, it is also oops, on the data. If we now go to these particular data points it, and we've got show wave, it's on, so we'll go and process it, go back into data, bring up the, the what the waveform looked like. And we can do that for all 
all our readings. That's also in the background data too. Awesome.